Batman, Superman, Spider-Man and now the Burqa Avenger. She is yet to climb the ladder of fame, but she is Pakistan's new Burqa-clad cartoon superhero who has captured the hearts of many not only in the subcontinent but in global markets as well. So much so that a TV distribution company in Europe is looking to translate the show into 18 languages including English and French, apart from screening it in 60 countries. Here's a sneak peek before the show takes the Indian market by storm. The newest female superhero hails from Pakistan. And unlike any previous Cape Crusader, she's dressed in a black burqa and fights Taliban-like extremists for women's rights and education. The Burqa Avenger is the country's first animated superhero and is created by Pakistani pop star Aaron Haroon Rashid, who explained how the character came to be. Burqa Avenger. I was reading a lot of press reports about girls' schools being shut down by extremist elements, and I sort of conceived this idea of the main protagonist defending the girls' school. Uh, but I didn't want it to be perceived as anti-Islamic, and so uh, if the, the main heroine is wearing the burqa, she's obviously a Muslim. If you think that this story sounds similar to the real-life events of Pakistani teenager Malala, who got shot in the head after speaking out for girls' education rights, you're right. The similarities even shocked her room, who had been long working on the series when the news broke. Everybody in our department was like, can you believe this? It seemed like, almost like life imitating what we were working on. The book-throwing heroine can now only be seen on Pakistani television. But with international distribution talks on their way, audiences worldwide will soon be able to enjoy the adventures of the Burqa Avengers.